Good morning! I am Rachel and I'm with the Pink Shrimp. Today I'm going to show you a little tutorial on how to make a bunny bucket. We're going to layer all the pieces onto this bucket and make a cute, adorable bunny bucket. Kids can use that for their Easter pails or, you know, going to school you have to bring a little pail for the Easter egg hunt, Easter basket, whatever. Throw your toys in. Don't matter. It's cute. So first we're going to, it's a very waxy, smooth surface. So we're going to clean it with alcohol first. I have a spray bottle. This is just alcohol in here. Nothing else. And I love it. I spray and clean everything before I put a decal on it. Whether it be a tumbler, a pail, anything. So we're cleaning it dries really good. Toss that. And we're going to put a face. So this is a pink one, so we're going to use the face with the eyelashes. And take our squeegee, pass over it once. Remove your transfer tape. And we're going to put the face on. So, you basically just want to get it straight. This is what I do to get it straight. And you just kind of see where you want to put it. Go down the center first. And then move it out. Move out. Move out. Rub it on there. Then you take your squeegee. Scrape that tang. Bobo. Get it on there really good. And then we're going to remove the transfer tape. And we're going to be careful because sometimes the little edges don't always stick well, but it just means, you see like a little eyelash? Can't, just got to rub her back on there. Come on, girl. You know what? Fine. We're going to go the other way. I'll take the transfer tape off. So, you know, this happens sometimes. I'm sure it happens with you too as well. So, don't even get smart, boo. <laughs> Press that down. Scrape some more. Press the crap out of it. And then take it off again. This surface is so smooth and waxy. Okay, so once we have it on there, we're going to save that so I can reuse it. Once we have it on there without the transfer, we're going to press again. Just to make sure there's no bubbles and that it's on there very well. I just like to go over it really well. Now she's on there. So now she needs some eyeballs for hers to see with. I cut out, I usually cut out like all of my black, if you know, all of my faces on one sheet, all of my white on one sheet, white. You know, and then just put transfer tape and do like that. It's a lot easier and a lot quicker, especially whenever you're doing so many. So then I put transfer tape and then I cut out as I need. So we have our little eyeballs. And we're going to position them on her eyes. So we're going to take it and we're just going to see where it looks best. Okay, let's 
like, mm, let's go there. See? Now it makes her eyes sparkle and girly. Take your transfer tape off, press really well, and just do the same thing with the other one. Once it's on there, it's on there. The this is I'm using Oracle six five one, and so it, it's pretty permanent. Um, it's a great stick. You put it on a decal on a car or anything like that, it ain't going nowhere. So now she has some eyeballs. Sassy little thing. Now we're gonna put her some teeth. So I have these little tiny teats and we're going to take them off and we're going to layer them onto her that. So we're just going to position them, make sure they're straight. And then press, remove the transfer tape and she's good. See how it all comes together whenever you start to layer it? I absolutely love it. It just comes together. Okay, so then she needs some feet. Some footsies. We'll just cut one out. Pass over it once with the squeegee. Remove the transfer tape. And we're just going to position up. So, we're just going to say, of course it goes at the bottom. Put it a little side to like this. Get to the side, you know. Put it in the center. I mean, rub your finger down the center and then go out. Center to out. Rub it on there good with your hand. And then take the squeegee and squeegee that sucker out. And then whenever you remove the transfer tape, I like to wiggle it like that. I just feel like it comes off better. Maybe that's just me. So then I press real good with my hand. And she has a foot. Now she needs her other foot. For her other foot, whenever I put the other foot, I just sort of kind of make it even with the marks so I want it tilted to the side but the, I will make the, these two even so that she, her feet are you know she don't look uh, lopsided or anything and if it's not even it doesn't even matter because it's gonna be cute rub that on there squeegee it well take off your transfer tape And now she has adorable little footies. Now she's gonna need some paws. So for her, oh, you know what? She needs a nose. Let's put her a little nose. Mm, you know what I just realized? I don't have any pink feet printed. So for her nose, I have this little nose right here, and I'm going to position it in the center. Make sure it's straight and just put it on. Now she's got her adorable little face. Squeegee it on there. Take off the transfer tape. And I just noticed that I don't, I only have these paws printed out, cut out. So we're going to put these on her. I think it's still going to look really cute. I usually, I just put pink paws on the girl, but we're going to use these because it's good. I have some transfer tape that I'm reusing that I stuck up there. So I just put this transfer tape over it and I'm going to cut it out. Simple. Boom. Bye. Take the transfer tape off. 
at an inch. Then we're going to position it. I didn't like it there. So, I pretty much make sure it's center with, you know, with the top one and then go with it. Oh, I do love that color. Okay, squeegee it on there. Take off your transfer tape. Save that. Because we ain't made of money. <laughs> Though our kids like to think we are. We're not. So I am reusing some more transfer tape. Gonna position the other paw. Squeegee. Remove the transfer tape. And now you have a bunny bucket. That is super cute and adorable. You can add ribbons. You can add a tail on the back. You can add their name on the back. You can leave it like this. I just love them. I think they're so cute. I actually purchased the bunny bucket. I mean, the I purchased the pail at Michael's. And I purchased this design, the bunny design on Etsy. Um, then I cut it out and that's it. It's very simple and I am so glad I can show you this guys and I hope you like it. Thanks. Bye.